In Scotland, at least £300 million will be taken out of public service delivery this year, next year and the year after that. In light of that, I think we genuinely need to start to think about doing Scotland differently. We've got to find ways to provide high quality, sustainable and cost effective services in our communities for people who need our help and support. And I think the RSA is, a, is a, an ideal place to do some of that thinking. The demand for our services is increasing. Nature and landscapes are vital assets for wealth creation and well-being of Scotland's people, and they play a central role in Minister's ambitions for Scotland. It seems to me there is potentially, in all that we've been discussing this evening, a really powerful convergence at the moment. Both of these organisations came to us, and I think it was particularly bold of them to do so, at a time when they had themselves been undergoing substantial change and reform, facing major challenges, but wanted an opportunity to think differently, and that's where we came in. The report essentially sets out a number of ways in which CEPA and SNH might want to form different types of relationships uh, which we characterise uh, in terms of a more resilient economy, preventative public services and citizens as stewards. It proposes discussions and actions that we should take as bodies um, to meet the challenges of public sector reform and where that will lead us. Many we could not undertake unilaterally or even between us. We're going to have to convince wider groups of people to travel with us. This report uh, from the RSA, or the Social Productivity Model, I agree with Ian, it's challenging and stretching to us as a concept, but I think it's vital for the future. One particular uh, initiative that, that we're interested in and, and uh, pursuing is what we call citizen science. I think it is quite an innovative way of thinking. And indeed, getting that kind of engagement with citizens and the public, I think, involves being quite open and transparent about ethics and values that we've already heard about, indeed, about emotions. And for a, an evidence-based, technocratic, scientific body like ourselves, that in itself is quite a challenge. What's more important than the money that's being handed over is the trust that's being shared and the confidence that's being built with communities to say that you can understand your needs. You're not a threat to, your local to, to the natural environment. You're its custodians. Um, you are citizen stewards. It's been a magnificent report. I look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you.